Hello. If you've been here a while, you will know what that spin means. I always start one of these with a little spin. Let me give you another one. You're gonna have to excuse my hair because I've been ill again, I know. That's a bit better. I wanted to do a room tour. Cause I finally feel like I've got it to a level where I'm like, mm, she's cute, she's good. She's like a solid base. And I can keep working on her for the rest of the year, adding little bits and pieces here and there. But I'm like really happy with how she is right now. It's like my little cave. I never really want to leave it. I just can't believe that it's been that long since I did my one of my year one uni room. <laughs> And welcome. As you first walk in, you have the back of the door, which is where I just keep like my bags, my coats, my towel. Just very simple, but I kind of love the way it looks, where it's all just hanging up. It's actually so cool. I was low-key like going a little bit insane on my own in here because everyone else has gone out and because I'm ill, I was like, mm, probably shouldn't. Um, so I decided I'd film this instead. So if I sound a little bit insane, I probably am. Then we have this little corner. This little corner has these prints in. I got these when I went to Vienna with my friends and they are my favorite prints ever. I don't know what it is about them. There's just something that really, really like itches an itch of my nostalgia. Does that make sense? Um, there's those in this little corner. I gave them a shrine to their own because they needed it. Got my disco ball, obviously. Um, little Samuel, if you remember him from previous videos. Got my Vienna shot glass. Little succulent in there. Got a cookbook down the back. Then we move on to my makeup station. Hello. Um, this is my makeup station. I actually really fucking love this bit as well. I love every corner of this room. I've got this cushion on here because it's ugly. So I need to turn that over and push that in so you can't see it. Yeah, so basically I've got this mirror from Ikea when I first moved in. Best thing... I've bought since being here. It just is so cool and the TikToks in it are insane. And then I've moved every picture I had from my old room up and just splattered it across this wall. It's got little combinations of little posters here, little posters there. Got all of the cute things. I just really love it. I think it's so cute. And then I've got my desk. It was really useful actually because there's quite a lot of drawers in this house whereas in my accommodation last year I had nothing. I've got all of my jewelry here. Kind of similar to my home room tour, because um, it's all the same stuff, I've just moved it here. And then I've got my posters, little pen pot, got this candle, which for some reason I actually just love so much. It just itches me. Ew. It itches an itch. Oh, that plant made me really itchy, speaking of itching. Um, I've got this little plant who needs a bigger pot, pretty much. I feel bad. I'm his mother, I shouldn't be suffocating him in this mug. It is actually a mug. Anyway, then I got my speakers. We can blast those fantastic tunes. This corner is kind of like my, we don't talk about it corner. Um, random files, I don't know what's the washing thing. My mannequin, my ballet shoes. Um, this is a long story, pretty much. Uh, it's my dad's. Really want to learn to play guitar. Every day I get up and I say, um, Eleanor, today we're going to learn to play the guitar. Every day I look at that guitar and think, I need to play that. How long have I been here? Five weeks? Have I picked it up once? No. The day I do will be incredible, but I actually have so much guilt around it because I never pick it up. But anyway, we'll, we will at some point. Got my little Lego um, cactus set up here because if I have any more plants, I'll forget to water them. This guy, who I do feel a bit sorry for because I do keep forgetting to water him. My wardrobe is quite useful actually because it's a, like a full length mirror. I appreciate quite a lot. Also this, another thing, maybe don't ask questions about. I'm trying to dry them out. Loki don't know if they're dry enough. They feel very crispy and dry. And they've been here a while. But I want to have them forever in my room. I bought them for myself from Aldi. Now this is what I like to call my dress up section. Got my clothes in there. And then more of my clothes here. Um, This is my big puffer coat project from last term that I actually don't know what to do with. This is my shirt I made last year. And these are like a few of my favourite pieces that I just feel like are so cute they need to be on display. I am a bit worried about this because I'm scared it's going to stretch out hanging up, but it's fine. This corner literally actually could just live in this corner. Yeah, it doesn't do justice. 
um, kind of like a warm life in this corner. And I have all of my shoes and this little rack that got three pounds. Three pounds from Home Bargains. Really was a home bargain. Um, and my little books there because I just, I don't have a shelf so I don't really know where to put them. And then there's stuff behind there that I like to hide. That's why it's concealed. It's just pretty much stuff I don't know where to put. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, this is my little baby. My friend got this for me for my 20th birthday and I intend to keep him, keep it forever. Um, but also these are just Vogue magazine posters I pulled out. Now, this corner is so good. Okay, so I have my shoes and you swing it around and there's like a little corner right here. Got my plant, got my CD player. Ripped a page out of Vogue again and stuck it in this picture frame and I'm obsessed. Easy Life poster. Now this little beauty. I added her today. And I think we need to have a little chat about this whilst we're here because I want to know your guys' opinions on this. Pretty much, I've been doing these drawings on t and filming them, posting them on TikTok. And it's like a bands. This one's Fontaine's DC. It's like different bands. And I kind of want to make loads of them of different artists. You can have a collection. But like, okay, this is a really bad example, but look at them together. I'm thinking of selling them. I've got some more coming in the post. Like, honestly, let me know. Let me know if you'd be interested in buying one. I'm thinking might sell them on Etsy. It's a bit scary, but I think it could work. Actually, so obsessed with that. Then I've got my little Liberty of London poster. I feel like my interests are so varied, it's crazy. I like to call these my donglers. I just think they're so cute. They add a little glitteriness along this wall. Speaking of donglers, Got some more up here. My friend also has some and she draped them like this with her sunset lamp and they add little shadows and I just think it's the cutest thing. She's got way more draped but I just think that's so pretty. Look at that. My bed. Ta da! I love this bedding. I. It's not really anything like I would have ever thought to buy before. I kind of bought it out of necessity but it's from Ikea. And then I've got this pillow which my friend made for me for my birthday. This is kind of niche. As a previous geography student, I am a bit of a whore for the weather and understanding how it works. Um, which I don't think my friend knew when she bought this, but I'd basically seen it before and was obsessed with it in a vintage shop. She went back and bought it for me for my birthday, which <laughs> made my life. But it's a barometer, which if you don't know, basically means you can read what the weather's like. But also it's just so ornate and so cute that I could literally die. That kind of starts off this little corner. This cabinet, none of my other housemates have one. I think just the previous tenant like left it, so they just kept it in here. But I got my CDs, my lamp, which matches my bedding as well. I don't know what's going on with this baby pink theme. It kind of happened by accident. Um, I have this jug in my room just because I want to try and drink more water. I don't always want to go into the kitchen, you know? So I just fill up the jug and bring it up to my room with me and then I can put water in my glass. Now this magazine is my favorite thing. I know I've said everything in this room is my favorite thing ever, but that's why it's in it. Billie Eilish interview magazine, so good. I didn't have it here before, I did have it stuck on my wall, but it fell off and I was scared I was going to break it, so I've just put it there for now. I do want to put it back up, but I think I'm going to hang it with like a bulldog clip, somehow attach the bulldog clip to the wall. Another little poster behind, that was in my old room. And so obviously my sunset lamp adds a little pizzazz to the corner. And if you get in my bed, you can see my picture wall, which... I love so much. We've got a little bit of blur. we got Mac Miller. This is kind of my band's wall. I need to add some more to it because I don't feel like it kind of covers my full range of music love. TV Girl, Inhaler, Billy, Fontaine's DC, more Mac Miller, Vivian Westwood, obviously, because I love her. Gorillas. This corner is just my favourite corner to be in ever. And you look across and it's got a little bit. We, um pulled names out of the hat for which room we wanted and I got the one that I wanted. I just wanted this corner so bad and like the sloped ceiling. And the slanted window. She's my baby. Like some of the shit I've got stuck on my wall is literally just a receipt or a tea bag. At home I've got a tea bag stuck on my wall. I just think it's funny and it makes me happy so I do it. This lighting makes me look so ill. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. I really wanted to like show you to give you a reference of where I normally am. This is where it is. Thank you for watching. Uh, let me know about those posters or who I should draw next. Follow me on TikTok so you can see me draw them or Instagram even. Um, I posted it on both. Love you all. See you in next week's video. Bye.